Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> Excuse me while I get a frog out of my throat. Thanks for joining me on this adventure today. I'm in French Lick, Indiana. And there's a lot of things you could do while you're in French Lick. You could go to the casino. <clears throat> well, I'm having a terrible time trying to talk today. You could go to the casino out here. You go to West Baden Resort. Or how, is it the resort or a hotel? Uh, anyway, so you go to some of the hotels out here. I know they got two really nice ones. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful, but it's going to cost you a lot if you want to go out there. But you, there's several things you could do like that. Or you go on a train ride. I think they do like a Polar Express thing in the winter. But there's another thing you could do out here. And that is walk out here kind of off the beaten path and check out... The childhood home of one of the greatest, if not the greatest, basketball players to ever play in the NBA, Mr. Larry Bird. And today I'm going to take you on an adventure. I'm going to show you his childhood home. I'm going to show you where he went to school at. And just a few other little things, odds and ends around town. Judging by these tracks, I don't think a train's been through here for quite a while. See, with all the buildup of dirt and rock and everything, I, th I don't think there's been a train through here in quite some time. And here it is, the childhood home of Mr. Larry Bird. How awesome is that? It's a real pretty house. It's actually really nice looking. This is actually privately owned, so we can't go walking up onto the property or anything. So we could just film right here on the sidewalk. It's actually a nice house. Looks really good shape. And see this basketball goal right here. Uh, from what I've read, that is original. That is original from when Larry Bird was still in school. He played on that. Come out here do his practicing. How awesome is that to know that Larry Bird would walk through this area practicing his shooting and everything else. That is so cool. Some interesting things about Mr. Bird is, uh, of course, you know, I said he went to Springs Valley High School. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. He, after he graduated, he went on a full scholarship to Indiana University but dropped out shortly before the season began and never played for Coach Knight, oddly enough. Now, I wonder, you wonder how good of a team they could have had if, if Larry Bird had stayed. You wonder, you know, what would have, how things would have been different for him. But uh, after he dropped out, he hitchhiked home back here to French Lick and uh, moved back home, stayed for about a year and worked. And then he went back to school at Indiana State University. And then he was drafted uh, in 1978 to the Boston Celtics, but really didn't start playing until about 79. I wonder how good the fish are down in here. Really plenty of fish in that. I'm gonna have to come out here and go fishing one day. And here's the school, the high school that Mr. Larry Bird attended, Springs Valley Junior Senior High School. And if you turn around opposite, you have got the gym. Now you're probably thinking, that's not a very big gym. Well, it's one of those kind of gyms that go down into the ground. And they have still have his high school jersey hanging up inside the gym. I don't know if you can get a shot, if you could see inside there a little bit, but that is the gym. Same place that Mr. Burr would have played his early years of basketball at. Just down the road from the school, just a short walk down, got the Springs Valley Schools Recreation Center, and... Look who they got here in front. 
I had a huge bust of Mr. Larry Bird. That's really good. Whoever made that did really good. Pay a lot of attention to detail. Check this out. Here's what I was talking about a minute ago. The, across the street, you've got the French Lick Resort. Look how massive this place is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's going to cost you a lot if you want to stay out there. It is not cheap. Even the uh, West Baden Hotel or whatever you want to call it, it's expensive too. Here's something you don't see very often. An old payphone. I used to be able to see those all over the place. Just randomly down the street like these, you'd see them and stop and make a call. I don't think it... Uh, now... Don't work anymore. And look, still got the phone number to this payphone right here. You should always remember coming to these payphones, you always reach in here and try to find a, see if they had a coin laying in there. There looks like a pretty cool place to eat. 33 Brick Street. They got all kinds of pretty cool sports memorabilia in there. Let's go inside and eat. This place is pretty cool because you got a uh, got tons of sports memorabilia like Pete Rose jersey, a Joe Burrow jersey, as well as some Larry Bird jerseys down there. Oh, Peyton Manning jersey when he's with the Colts. It's pretty cool. I watched him play once. They lost, but it was still cool to actually sit and watch him play. Got Dan Marino jersey. Laces out, Dan. Can't really see if they got a uh, signed Bobby Knight chair up there. I don't think that's the same chair he threw across the floor. You know, I've never been to the Kentucky Derby. I don't know the I don't know the first thing when it comes to horse racing. I recommend going into the uh, 33 Brick Street to have lunch. It's a good place. Got tons of sports memorabilia, as I just showed you. Get a good sandwich and have some drinks and all that good stuff. They don't have a whole lot of Larry Bird memorabilia like they used to in there. Uh, from what the waitress was saying, that they are building a museum up in Fort Wayne, up by where he went to college at. And that's where a lot of the trophies and stuff like that's going. But I think they're supposed to bring some more stuff back down uh, to this restaurant. I love wood carving, so we're going to go in here to Bear Hollow Wood Carving Place. Let's check this out. If you know me, you know I'm a sucker when it comes to wolves. So I, I absolutely love this. But not for $6,000. Still really cool, though. I'm not going to pay six grand for that. After years of searching, I found Bigfoot. I wonder if that is the actual size of what Bigfoot would be. Huge. Tell you what, if rattlesnakes came that size, I would be running out the door. Of course, no wood shop is complete out here without a carving of Mr. Larry Bird himself. He looks pretty different, but if you notice, he's got a Valley jersey on. It's a Springs Valley High School. So this would be about when he's in high school playing. That's pretty cool that they did that. Good attention to detail. Okay, so now I'm in Crystal Community Cemetery, and which is just a little bit outside of French Lake a little bit. And you're probably yelling at, at your screen saying, what are you doing in a cemetery? This has nothing to do with Larry Bird. Larry Bird ain't dead. Yes, I know that. But his parents are laid to rest out here, and they're right here, and I'll show them to you. And here is the resting place of Larry Bird's parents. I 
Larry's dad sadly uh, died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound when Larry was still very young. But time moved on and uh, it was very rough, but Larry used basketball to help him cope with the pain and, and the struggles. That's going to do it for this adventure. I want to thank you all for joining me again. I hope you've had a good time watching. Much as I had a good time filming this. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.